Hi, it's Lori, the armchair chef. I don't think I've even made one of these videos yet. It's a things we're making Thursday video because I happen to make a couple bags for March, which is what the project was of the month. So I'd like to say hello to the new people that are coming to the channel. I have a feeling Jackie um, sent some of you and thank you. Um, let me tell you a little bit about me. I have two little chihuahuas. They're really the star of the show. Yeah, they're in the background doing shit all the time. Well, I'm, and I don't even see it until I'm editing. So yeah, I usually just leave it in unless they're barking. Um, I'm a postal worker. So I have a playlist with postal tips, um, packaging, mailing, different things. I had an Etsy store. I have a video about how I... Um, Did my mystery boxes i was doing mystery boxes for a while i might start again i don't know i have some things coming up that i have to deal with and i need more room i don't know what i'm going to do with everything <laughs> i'm a one bedroom apartment and it's just me and it's full <laughs> so well i have two little dogs but they don't buy anything it's just me <laughs> so anyway yeah, I have that. And I, I crochet, I do yarn, I do shopping, I do some cooking, I do some food tastings. And I have all those things on different playlists. So if you um, think you might be interested in looking at one of those playlists, just go ahead and take a look. And then every month I um, host a mystery yarn challenge. It started a year ago. I um, saw some other people doing it with some craft supplies. And I thought, well, that sounds like a cool idea. Do it with yarn. So I threw it out there and uh first month I had about eight people and now I have about 30 people so it's just just right it's manageable oh I think I got food on my face <laughs> I went to Sonic and got a, a barbecue burger it's good and um so the um there are videos in the playlist for each month I have them separated and Air, any any creator that has made a video uh, will be about the mystery yarn challenge will be in that list and i have a finale at the end of the play month um i put together a video of everybody what they made in the yarn they got and you guys get to see how creative and fantastic these people are and um and then when everybody everybody that completes a project gets put in a drawing to win a prize it's not based on your project it's random um, so if that's something you might be interested in, go ahead and take a look at some of my announcement videos. It'll have a lot of the details on, uh, what it's about. And if you want to email me, I can send you the instructions of the, uh, usually what I send out in the email tells people more details on what to do. Uh, so, and, you know, I r rarely have anybody asking me questions because I'm so specific. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I don't think I'm done with January yet. Um, I think everybody else is done with January. I have to do my video. And what I do is I save all the pictures and everything in files. And then I have to go back through the files and I pull them all up and put them in my Canva program. Then I go through and I put them all in a slideshow in the video. And then it becomes this long video. So I have to make sure I have their before and after picture. I usually set up a theme and I have to, it, once it's organized, it goes pretty quickly. I have to say that, yeah, I try to be really organized with it. Otherwise I would be missing people and forgetting people. And yeah, it's, it, it would be a mess. So January is not quite done yet. February, people are turning in projects. They're almost all done. Um, there are always a few overlapping into the next month because um, some people don't get their yarn right away. And I always give you enough time to get your project done if you get your yarn late. Just because somebody got their yarn early doesn't mean they get more time than you. You all get a good amount of time because it's supposed to be fun. And... Um, so go ahead and take a look at some of the, 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 the probably the February playlist 
almost everybody's finished and I, anybody who's a creator, I put their video in there, but if they're not a creator, it doesn't matter. I get the pictures and then I put them in the finale at the end. Um, and, and you can double dip or triple dip. You can do my mystery yarn challenge. If you get mystery yarn, I'm sorry, my dogs, I just fed them. Come here. Come on. Um, you can do my mystery yarn challenge. You could also use that project for the creator of the month for um, Aaron at Crafting Kitty. You could do one of her creator's projects and it could be the same category as things are making Thursday. So you could do one project and cover three different crochet alongs. Yes, without having to make three different things. Isn't that fantastic? So you can participate with the same project. And I also have an option to do whips because some people have so many sitting around like I do. That's why I decided I wanted to do that. And so I thought other people might like to do that too. And yes, some people are liking that to do, um, excuse my nose. I had a, um, have a thing with that. I usually have makeup on it, but it's, it's, kind of like a burn um they are getting their stuff done and in march what i decided to do going forward is for the people that are going to do whips which would be option two and four for every whip you get finished you're going to get that many your name that many times on the wheel for a chance to win a prize and it's all random i have a wheel that spins and picks names so that'll be separate from the other people that are doing the actual mystery yarn challenge that are making the mystery yarn because they don't, it doesn't matter how many projects they make, but if you make a lot of whips, look at how much you're getting done. You're getting a lot done. Ask anybody that's been doing it. Oh my goodness. They're getting a lot of stuff done. Sometimes they're just getting a big project done, which is really, really necessary. Sometimes I have a lot of things that need to get done. I just keep making new stuff. Yeah. Which is why I'm doing this video. I'm sorry. I'm introducing the new people to some of this stuff. This is my things we're making Thursday. And the project is bags for this month. And I'm not going to be doing any more bags. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and put my last video up right now. So what I've done is I've gotten all the bags that I've made, which I pretty much still have because I'm rarely give my stuff away usually it's not that good but I don't know who to give it to you know it has to be somebody that's crochet worthy and somebody who appreciates the crochet and sometimes you don't know who that's going to be so I'm going to show you the bags I've made the most recent ones I made this is the most recent one I made for things for making Thursday specifically this is a variation of the Christmas ornament that I did from bag a day her, um, it's a, just a little holder. I sent them out for the Christmas ornament exchange and um, it has just a little hanger on it. Well, what I did was I started the bottom like that and then I just started going up and I decided to make a little thing there. And then I just did the same stitch. I made it like a window, went up. And then what I did when I was done with the, the um, thing that was hanging, I went ahead and reinforced the bottom down here because it was a little loose, you know, because when you go around both sides of the chain, it gets a little loose. So then I just did some extra stuff on the top to make it fan out. And then I chained a little drawstring on it. So it's just a little bag and it's cotton. It's a, this wasn't a coconut cotton. I don't remember which one this one was. It's very pretty though. It's blue and yellow and green. And um, I was going to make a bunch of these. No, didn't didn't happen. But I have this one. And then the next bag I made was from Darla the Crafty Yarn Owl. I think that's her name. This was my mystery yarn challenge for February. I got yarn from Lisa, Happy to Hook Creation, sent me yarn. She sent me one of those cream colored limited edition from Lion Brand that nobody likes. 
and it worked. It worked very well. I made a bag. I did the bottom. That yarn did very well. There were a couple holes here, so I, I sewed those up when I was finished. But it made a nice little bottom on it. And then her pattern called for doing like a diamond here. But I kind of got to the point, I think I got one diamond down here and then the rest of them, I just went ahead and just went back into the middle. And it doesn't look bad. I mean, it, it just looks like any other pattern. It, it looks fine. Nobody would even know there's a difference. So she gave me some red and then I got some of this yarn. Very pretty sparkly. And it was um, in different colors. So this one actually ended up with some red on it. So it matches the red. So I did the top border in that. And what I did with the top border is I sewed it in to where the straps are. So it makes it sturdier. And um, instead of just a strap hanging on the edge, it's like this whole section right here is all sewed together. And, you know, it's just... It, it could be a project bag. It could be just a little something to, you know, I don't know, whatever. It's, there's some acrylic here, but yeah, it's a, it's a cute little bag. Like a, what do they call these? Like a bucket bag, lunch bucket bag or something. But yes, I don't know how stretchy this is going to be, but yeah, I did it in, uh, pretty sure I did singles. It's still stretchy though, because of the yarn. So that was my other one. This was from Craft, uh, Darla Crafty Yarn Owl. And what I do is I also have a playlist that I have made of everything that I make. I take that pattern and put it in that playlist. So if I ever need to go find it again, I know where it is. I have lots of playlists. That's the only way I can keep organized and find things. Otherwise, I'd never find anything at all. Then going back to some other projects that I have made over the year. These are all part of my mystery yarn challenge. So I'll show you those bags. There's not that many of them. This was a mystery yarn challenge. I got this sparkle yarn, very pretty. From one of our um, Mary Maxim, I believe. And this started out just being a scarf. And then I got tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> I got tired of doing it so I decided okay I was doing this back and forth this part and then I got tired and I just went ahead and just finished it off in black and I said okay I don't want to go anymore <laughs> I get bored and I said well you know what I'll make a bag out of it so it's just like a clutch I didn't put a handle on it or anything but it was getting just taking too long. Stop, stop. I'm very slow. And, and I, at that time, it was before I had some stuff done to my hands. And, you know, your hands hurt sometimes when you go. But what I did is I made a divine hat to match. Because I haven't found a yarn yet that doesn't look good in a divine hat. Right? Am I right? So, and they're also reversible you could wear a divine hat on either side oh look there's an end oh i left it there because i didn't know if i was gonna put a pom-pom on it i was looking for a copper tipped black pom-pom to put on top of it and there's somebody out there on etsy that has one i just never bought it yet but yeah you could you could wear it this way too it looks just fine either way and uh so yep yeah. it's not real tight so it's nice for a, um like a dressy or whatever, but it's not real tight. And um, yeah, one of my go-to hats because it doesn't matter what I use, it's gonna look good. Um, okay, so that was one mystery yarn challenge project. And this was a yarn I got and I didn't know what to make with it. And I started working with it. I got this from one of my uh, mystery bags too might have been Mary Maxim. I think it was in, I, I think a lot of it comes in those clear bags, which is Mary Maxim. Well, I don't know, Hirschner's, they send the big clear bags. 
I know some of you remember, but I um, sent Becky a bunch of this. I don't know if she ever used it, but I decided I did not like it because it's very rough on my hands to use it. It is acrylic. So I was making a scarf, of course, you know, because it's, and I said, I'm done. So I decided just to fold it up and make a bag. And it was just, what the heck stitch did I use on this one? <laughs> Don't even remember. It was probably like a, I got it. I don't know. It's it's in my, I'm sure it's in my playlist, which pattern I used because I save all that stuff, like I said. And so what I did was I just did this, but this one I did the handle on the edge. So, you know, every time we do something, we learn. And that's how we do it. You know, I've gotten better since I've been doing this. I learn a lot by making mistakes because I really will rarely frog anything. I will not frog a whole project. I might frog a row. If I miss something, I will frog a row, but I will not frog a whole project. I'll just turn it into something else. That's how my stuff turns out. So yeah, this is kind of a crossbody bag. And I put a, a brown button on it. And so Becky, you're going to see this. Did you ever make anything with that yarn that you got? I, I, I was not happy with the way it felt when I was working with it, but that was the only thing. And that's only me. So it's just fine. It's really pretty. I like it. I don't even know if I have any more of it. I might have some in my scrap container, but yep, that's a bag. Now you want your burp. The dog has to be burped. Okay, come on. Come over here. All right, so now this is the last one. Uh, well, I have I actually have a bag that's a whip, but it's somewhere in my whip world. This was, Shannon had made a, um, I think this was for a mystery yarn challenge. I used neon colors or for something, I don't remember. Had to be my, yes. I think Shannon sent me neon colors. And um, so what I did was I made the bag that uses four rectangles and you put them together. And what I did was I put a different texture on each one. And I used the variegated yarn to sew it up. There was a variegated yarn. So I used the orange. The only one I added was the purple because there was four panels and I wanted four colors. Whoops. So I added this, this purple to it. And um, so I did this stitch in the green, just a back stitch. I did baubles in honor of Shannon who gave me the yarn because she liked baubles. So I did one panel with baubles. Now they weren't the same size. They weren't the same length. I, I struggled. But you can see there's really, you can't screw this bag up. It's really hard. So you just kind of put them together and then you sew them one at a time. And the cool thing is Shannon sent me a sweater, gifted me with one of the sweaters. She made it matches this. So I have a sweater to match. And, and, and in the meantime, since then I've had made like two blanket table cover things around in neon so um yeah i'm gonna have a little collection a little thing of neon not sure yet what i'm gonna do with all of it but yeah i have a, a photo shoot that i have to do with all this neon i'm not sure if i have a hat i'll have to look and see if i have a neon hat i'll have to make one if i don't because i have to have one to go with the sweater and then i have my bag and i have a photo shoot I have to prove that i'll wear this stuff out in public yeah Okay, that is it for the bags. Now, yep, that's my thing is we're making Thursday. Um, I'm going to be moving on to the next month, which we already know what it is because there's a list in the bottom of the um, videos. 
and it was going to be something else, but I think they made it squares, something made with granny squares. And I have a whole playlist I posted up on my community page of everything granny because I was wanting to make a hexagon sweater, which is a big granny. And there's bags that you just put together three try three squares and you make a bag or four squares and you make a bag they don't even have to be big ones they can be small ones make a small bag so i have been gathering squares i have some yarn that i've not used that i want to use which is the fruit roll yarn which is what i sent um lisa for february it was, uh, Lisa, it was premier fruit roll in a four worst weight. And they were fruits. There's dragon fruit, lime, orange, grape, strawberry, all kinds of different watermelon, passion fruit. And so when you knit it up, it makes a pattern. Well, I don't knit and I'm not going to drag out my Addy right now. I have too much other stuff going on. But I'm thinking I can use some of that yarn to do the squares and make a bag with it instead of doing a whole blanket. I don't want to do a whole blanket, but if each one I could do a square and it sort of fruit looking, that would be pretty cool. Um, maybe four of them. Um, if I do the one with four, maybe, I don't know. I have to see. I have, I think I have five or six colors. I, I have them all, but I put them in my room, but the ones that go together, I'm going to put those together and I'll probably do a, another bag with the granny squares. Um, also do the squares, make a scarf. And then you could do a, a divine hat to match. I'm thinking that too. So that will be for April's things we're making Thursday. And also Crafting Kitty has a creator spotlight. Now, some people don't want to know who the creator spotlight is. And some people do because they want to get a head start. Well, I like to know because then if there's something that I want to make, I look at their plate, their channel to see if there's something on there that I want to make that I can use for things we're making Thursday for my mystery yarn challenge, whatever it is. And that person for April has a lot of granny square stuff. Yes. So if you have been not, if you've been considering doing the April granny squares, consider doing crafting kitties creator spotlight for thirst for April as well because that person has a lot of granny squares on her site so you might want to go check that out or wait till she announces it if you don't if you want to know who it is now go look at the end of her um um finale video for for um her announcement video for March she'll tell you who the next one is too and she tells you at the very end. So you could go to the end. And after she says goodbye, she tells you who the new person is. So yeah, I don't want to tell you now. I don't want to spoil it in case you didn't want to know who it was. But it's a person that does a lot of grannies. So I have already had some of her stuff on my on my list. So that would be a good thing because then you can participate in both of them and make one project. That would be awesome. So if there's other crochet alongs out there, I think um, Jackie's doing a square because she she um, was pleased that I posted that list has like over 200 videos on it because I've seen things out there and I put them in there so I can find them again. You know how much, you know how large YouTube is? You go out and you see something and then you can't find it again. That's why I have so many playlists. I pop it in there and then I go back, I go back, revisit them and I don't get rid of stuff that I'm not interested in, but I put it there until I'm, so I know where it is. Sometimes you can never find things, you know, how, 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 how hard it is to find something you saw. So that is my thing. Um, yeah. 
He's eating his dinner. He's going to want his burp pretty soon. So, okay. Thank you for watching. Thanks for coming and, and uh, subscribing to my channel. And if you have, um, if you have some bags that you made, it doesn't have to be that you just made it this month. You can go ahead and um, submit those on the things we're making Thursday Facebook group or send an email to somebody and they can post it up on, on their channel when they do their, their thing, their, their, you know, when they do their video for their things for making Thursday, this is the only one I'm going to do because I just showed the stuff that I'm making. Now the next one won't be till next month. So it's not going to matter, but it's been fun having it. It's been fun getting this stuff done. I'm actually feeling better. I had got diagnosed with arthritis in my hand and I got a cortisone shot in my joints down here. And I did not wear my brace today at work and it hurts. So yeah, I got to remember to wear the brace and uh, it's like a hundred percent improvement. It's not perfect yet. It probably never will be, but it's not constant pain anymore. So if you have that kind of thing in the CMC joint is what it's called, you know, you can email me if you want to know what I've uh, braces that I've been trying and purchased. I, I talk about it in some of my videos. I talk about it. Um, and I found some reasonable priced ones on, on Amazon. They also have them on Timo too. Um, Cause I won't pay a lot. I mean, 35 is too much and they have them over a hundred dollars and I won't even pay 35. So yeah, I keep a couple cause they get dirty and I have to clean them cause you know, work gets dirty. So, but anyway, yeah, that was my issue with my hand. So, <laughs> okay. Okay. That's enough. This is long enough. And I shall thank you for coming and watching. Go ahead and hit the um, subscribe and the notification. And then that'll let you know when I put up a video for Mr. Yarn Challenge or if I'm putting up a giveaway because I had just, I just did a whole bunch of them. And my birthday's coming up in April. Mm -hmm. And I always do something big and I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. So um, we shall see. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to be eating or if I'm going to be shopping or giving away all the stuff that I don't need anymore. I got to make room for more. I have stuff in storage. That big, that's the S word. I have to get my storage cleaned out, which, whoosh, which means I've got to bring all that stuff somewhere. Oh God, I elbowed him right in the face. Okay, I got to go. I got to, he's going to need his burp. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching.